Hello, so I was working on two pipe pieces, or I mean one pipe piece, and I thought it would be interesting to make a comparison, um, just comparing the the normals in this case, if it made any difference between the weighted normal modifier and data transfer modifier. So over here, we have the weighted normal modifier. I had a bevel on it, a bevel modifier on, and I set the face strength to affected, the face strength mode. So now this all this weight to null modifier is doing is just listening for the face influence. So this is without face influences, face influence. This is with the weight up to 100. Doesn't I mean it it gets some of it, but it's not getting it's not tightening these up. So we just override that with face influence there and it really tightens things up. So Anyway, over here, we can get a similar result if we, I'm just going to turn off the modifiers. Now, I have the way to normal modifier here, but I'll show you why I'm using that uh, just in a bit later. So, first data transfer modifier, uh, maybe first off. So, I have these, um, these cylinders here to provide my normals. And then, on this object, I have two vertex groups. One's the front. One's the side. Mm -mm -mm. So I go back to my data transfer modifier, and you know I I have the front uh, vertex group down here, and then I've got custom normals nearest face interpolated, and I've got the front object. Then I go ahead and apply that, or display it, and it tightens those up. And I'm doing the same thing again down here, just the different vertex group and the different object, and apply that. And that's what we get. So, pretty similar results there. Um, now, the only thing that I needed the weighted norm modifier for was this rounded cap. So, if we just look at the normals here, it's still rounding those off, still averaging them out. So, I thought, well, I could put a weighted norm modifier down here and then just have it listen to a vertex group with just these caps. But I thought, wait, we don't need another vertex group. I'll just stick to the top and just do a general, you know, not listen to anything, just do a normal weight there and leave it good. I could even, yeah, like this doesn't take much weight to get those to sharpen up. So, anyway, um, but yeah, so there you have it, I guess. There's your comparison. Um, now, the the only slightly imperfect thing I can show or notice is like right here where the topology, I think it's topology that's uh, affecting it. Um, but there is just some slight, you know, it, this doesn't look straight and quartered. And sometimes I notice with, with bevels and weights and normals that just happens. Um, but I mean, this is nitpicky stuff, like, at a glance, that looks okay. I mean, I can notice it more here, I guess. And there, too. I just wish there was a way to, you know, have have this not look as triangulated. But anyway, once we get a texture on there, you won't be able to notice that stuff. So, I don't know if that was useful to, for anyone or not, but... There is a video just comparing the two with a very simple example. Um, thanks for your time, and consider subscribing if these, if my long videos uh, interest you. So, thanks.